what? So what is guided drawing? Oh, I yeah. love guided drawing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite different as an art therapy from mm. what you normally associate with art therapy as in yeah, image making, object making, because the main obvious feature is that you draw with your eyes closed mm -hmm. and with both hands. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is bilaterally, yeah, uh, with the hands moving together and the eyes closed, so the focus is on what's happening inside the body yeah. rather than what's happening on mm, the yeah. sheet of paper. And it's a wonderful tool to use for people who have tried talking therapies and for them to be able to sit there and process their own experience without having to narrate every minute detail of what they've mm. been through and yet they still get the chance to experience of what it means to go into that healing process mm. and what that, how useful that is for mm. them. And I think that the gift with guided drawing is that it provides another language yeah, for the for therapy between the client and the therapist, so it, it actually makes visible that which is inside, not through an image per mm. se, but through the movements on mm. the paper. Mm. Yeah. But when we say inside, yeah. you know what it really means is the body focus. Absolutely. Yeah. So it is quite uh, uh, concrete. In uh, you know, I've got a lump in the stomach. Yeah. yeah mm. or, yeah, you know, uh, I can't breathe, or yes. you know, yes. my shoulders are you know feeling really tense. Yeah, and um, and to focus on that as a movement. Mm. Yes. Yeah, like what? How do you move on the inside? Yeah, and not to translate, for example, the tense shoulders, you know, into an image on the paper, yes. but mm. to capture the movement yeah. and on how the tension and the tension might be something you know, yeah. like yep. that yeah? yeah and then to draw this movement to have that tension as it feels mm. yeah in here and then to also trust that the body has its own innate wisdom to know mm. what to do with that yeah. tension and to find the movement mm. that matches that yeah. that's part of the process of yeah. guided drawing that brings this healing yeah. Um, that's linked yeah. to the wisdom of our yeah. body. So yeah. I often say, yeah, you're actually having a massage, yeah. self-massage, yeah. yeah. yes. yeah. rather than uh, an art-focused yeah, yeah. session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, with this idea of, you know, what do my shoulders need mm -hmm. you know, when they feel tense and yeah. painful? Mm -hmm. And then to find movement mm -hmm. and repetition you know, with crayons or with paint yeah. Yeah, in applying yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the movements that I need. Yeah. And almost everyone knows yes. of yeah, course. what they need. Yeah. Of course, and those people who are terrified about the concept that they're not Picasso can actually involve themselves in As this process. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. But also because uh, yeah, we're working with a lot of traumatised mm. clients uh, who quite frequently experience their body as their enemy mm, because yes. there's stuff happening in the body mm. that they find scary and mm. upsetting and disturbing mm. or painful. And along with trauma also goes this sense of overwhelm and helplessness. Mm. Mm. Yeah? And uh, here is actually a tool mm. where they can address this mm. and find ways mm. to actively respond yes. you know, to what they need. The trauma is, yeah. And yeah. along the way using guided drawing provides another avenue also for the psychoeducation so people can really understand that trauma is something that is in with, within the body that's it's a nervous system response mm -hmm. and healing comes through mm. enabling the mm. opposite response to be found within mm. the system. But it needs mm. to happen mm. through the body. body. Yeah. yeah, that is one of the yeah. results that trauma yeah. research has uh, made clear in recent decades. Yes, that uh, trauma therapy has to have a body focus. Yes, yeah, because uh, only through that body focus, the nervous mm. system can yeah, come. Yeah, to a settled state again. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's also important that people know that they're not broken. 
and that the, what they've been doing is surviving and the management mm. strategies they've been using are not bad. It's just that they're not necessarily serving their purpose anymore. Mm. So let's support them to be able to finish with those and move on. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and come from survival to being alive. alive. Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Great.